I'm at home sort of fun. I usually been asking for a Zoom call with Kevin and Warren. Oh, sorry. Has there been any like progress toward that or? No, we haven't heard anything at all. I'm sure everybody saw the letter that they sent out on August 19th, and that was the last thing we really heard from the Big Ten. What's your thought about what the Nebraska kids did, and do you support I me? Mean, it's a state matter, so you probably can't legally support what they did, but are you hopeful that what they're doing will get anybody some kind of answers on, on what's happened, or what do you think? Yeah, we're pretty hopeful. I think they have a preliminary hearing on Monday, so we're anxiously awaiting to see what happens from the Nebraska side with those parents and the lawsuit that they have filed. Is it, it among the group, of parents has it come up to take legal action potentially against the Big Ten or what what's I haven't the heard specifically from any parents but I know it has been mentioned in some parents group I won't say it was anything through the FBAOS board but just some parents have talked about maybe we should follow the suit with Nebraska as well. Mm -hmm. Randy started today by saying that the Thanksgiving idea was kind of a non-starter for him. Is that are you all kind of unified there that you don't like this Kind of out there. I mean, th I don't know what the difference is between Thanksgiving and January. So if we can start at Thanksgiving, ultimately we would want to move it up to uh, the beginning of October and at least give them a, a chance to compete in the in the football playoffs and possibly a national championship. Do you, do you think the numbers they've suggested Thanksgiving plan, a January plan? They seem like they're discussing a bajillion plans. But do you, do you, do you guys think like the pressure you guys have put on has maybe like helped spur some sort of like smoke or action from? I mean, I like to think that we've been at least some sort of way successful in at least getting them to start talking about, you know, the plan moving forward because really when they canceled, there wasn't a plan at all. We didn't know if it was April. We didn't know if it was March, January. I know Coach Day had floated January. So I'm hoping that by keeping some of the pressure up on the Big Ten that it is encouraging them to come up with a solution because we're not going to stop, right? We're going to keep fighting until we get answers. We're not getting, not getting to see the athletes here, obviously, because the school wants them to distance. But when they pulled the plug on this, like behind the scenes, what was the feeling from the kids? Just they had to be completely uh, I mean, devastated, crushed, right? Yeah. You know, they they put in a lot of work. Most of them have been here since the beginning of June for workouts, and they were following all of very strict safety protocols that the coaches had lined out, and they were doing an excellent job. And then to it's like they put in all this work, and it didn't really matter. That's what it seemed like. Is there an added level of personal frustration for you and Cameron? He's had an injury plague season or career so far, seems to be doing well, and then we run into this gigantic cluster. Yeah, I mean, he's frustrated. I would say that he's been through so much adversity that, you know, sometimes he's like, well, we'll just see what tomorrow brings. You know, he just takes things day by day. He relies on his faith, really, and that God always has a plan for everything. So. Yeah, I think um, they're continuing, well, I know Cameron is anyway, they're continuing to work out and go up to the Woody, and so all of those safety protocols, I'm sure they're continuing to try to follow because, I mean, ultimately, let's say tomorrow they say, let's move forward, you know, they want to be as safe as possible and be ready to start playing. Amanda, what have you been through in your life that helped you prepare to take on a leadership role like this where you've been front and center uh, helping organize something like this? Well, I didn't know this was going to be part of my job, <laughs> but... Um, you know, I've always loved football and been very active in different youth programs in St. Louis. Um, I've been like the business manager and I've helped coach these football teams, not even teams that Cameron has participated on. And so it's just kind of been an evolution. Of course, part of my job is I, you know, I lead, I lead a pretty large team. So, you know, it, it, that has helped as far as taking on some of the leadership responsibilities. And then how about the response from the coaching staff and just uh, maybe elaborating a bit on the way that behind the scenes you feel like they've supported you in this fight? Yeah, so, you know, we I talked to Coach Day, and, you know, we keep in contact, and ultimately, you know, I just kind of let him know what's going on. You know, we're here, act, you know, to support the coaches and the parents and to kind of be that, that liaison between the coaching staff and the parents to really inform the parents what's going on and, and to really connect with, with all of the uh, coaches and the parents. Amanda, we've heard a lot today.